Hey everybody, we're back here in the Mechman lab. Uh, we're going to show you uh, real quick the inner workings of the new alternator for Steve Mead's uh, Lexus ISF. Uh, this unit does feature uh, hairpin stator technology, uh, what we call square wire. Uh, the wire is actually a rectangular. Uh, it's kind of hard to see there if it'll focus in. Uh, instead of being round, so you can actually fit more copper uh, in the stator. It makes it a lot more efficient. Also, uh, this unit features six-phase technology. A lot of people ask what uh, six-phase is, so to kind of illustrate that, we're going to compare it to a conventional three-phase alternator. This is actually just your basic large case, uh, 270 amp GM internals. You see here you actually have three, what we call three legs, coming off the stator that your alternating current flows through. Uh, those attached to the rectifier, you have three phases on the rectifier. On a six-phase alternator, you actually have two, th well, two three-phase connections, or a total of six phases, and those connect to the rectifier here, and you actually have 12 diodes. You can see the diodes here pressed into the rectifier plate. Uh, lots of surface area here, two rectifier plates for the air to flow through, uh, 12 diodes to handle the power, really good bomb-proof, uh, durable design. Of course, you compare that to the uh, large-case GM rectifier, it only has six diodes here. These are still, this is a, a custom-made uh, copper rectifier assembly. Still pretty durable, still a nice unit, uh, but the performance on, on this unit is going to be a lot better, uh, especially at idle. Uh, on Steve's unit, we're actually going to be using an OEM diameter pulley on there because uh, he does hot rod that vehicle somewhat. That's important to take into consideration your pulley ratio. If we were to run a really small pulley on here to maximize uh, idle output, he could actually spin the alternator too fast when the engine is at redline. It could actually damage the alternator. So um, we're going to use a stock pulley ratio on there. This thing's going to be so beefy the way that we configure it that it'll still have excellent output at five or 600 RPM uh, engine idle speed. Uh, and of course, uh, there are a couple differences in the rotors here. This is a standard three-phase large case GM rotor, the part that spins, and next to it here is the six phase going in uh, Steve Mead's unit. You can see the poles are closer together. So there's actually more poles on this unit than on this unit. That in combination with the higher count of phases in the alternator uh, results in the pulses being close to get closer together and actually being more efficient. There's some cancellation in there with the electromagnetic um, fields going on there that makes the unit more efficient. It creates less heat, so you actually waste less horsepower per kilowatt of energy produced. And of course, finally, uh, as we've done on all of Steve's units, we are going to equip it uh, with one of our adjustable voltage boost modules. Uh, this is going to plug into the alternator's regulator, and then his stock harness will plug into it, and he'll be able to adjust the voltage on that. We're going to set it to his specifications which I believe is about 15.0 volts. So you should wind up with a really solid uh, 300 amp unit that makes excellent output at idle even with the stock pulley ratio and uh, he's going to be able to have the voltage that he wants. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our new website www.mechman.com. It's been totally revamped. New pictures, new products. Check it out and subscribe. Talk to you later.